Well, good morning everyone and welcome to day three of our little England trip. We are off to Alton Towers today, uh, bringing you along. We're going to go and do some rides. We're actually meeting up with Steph and Jim from The Despicable Three. Very, very excited to finally meet up with them. Uh, we've been chatting to them for a couple of years now. feel like we know them, but we've never ever actually met them yet. Uh, so we're heading there. It's about 6am, early start. Going to get there for where, about 9 o'clock, opens at 10. We'll get there nice and early. Um, meet up with them. It's probably going to be quite a busy day with it being a Saturday. Uh, we've bought our tickets already. We're good to go. Weather here is a bit mixed, but should brighten up later on uh, when we get more down towards uh, Derby, Nottingham area, uh, which will be nice. So that's the plan for today. But before we head downstairs, head to the car, hopefully get a coffee on the way. Uh, before we head there, I do want to mention uh, this new company that have sent me a fantastic device that could interest you. Uh, they're called Zenja. Now this is a plug socket where you can charge multiple devices all at once, but it's got a variety of different sockets. So you can have an American socket, a UK socket, a European. You just slide out whichever one you need and plug it straight in. You can charge up to six devices at once. So for the likes of me and Laura, we've had both our phones on charge here uh, and my AirPods overnight, just off that one little socket, plug straight in, really, really easy. It just means you've got flexibility. If we, for example, headed off to Florida in America, you just slide out the American adapter straight into the wall and it's got USB-Cs, USB. You can plug actual plugs into it as well. Whole variety uh, on there. Uh, lightweight as well, not super heavy for the likes of us. Just that little thing in our hand luggage was dead easy to bring over uh, from Tenerife, uh, but really sturdy as well. It's not cheap. You do get a nice solid feel from it. It's uh, safety certified, everything like that. It is a Kickstarter, so it is a new uh, little company starting it up. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And um, it's $35 at the moment as a Kickstarter. It should normally be 45. I think it's absolutely worth it to be able to do everything all at once. You're going to get maximum power through it as well to charge at the maximum speeds. Whatever socket you're plugging into is going to charge it as quick as it can with the USB-Cs, etc. Um, so I think it's absolutely fantastic. If you do want more information on that, I will leave the link in the description if you want to grab one. I do recommend it. Uh, it comes in quite a nice colour as well. It's uh, like a turquoise blue colour, would you say, Laura? Blue and silver. Blue and silver. It does look nice and smart when you plug it in. But for us, with all our devices, I had my drone on it last night. Uh, I had my gimbal on it as well. I can charge everything that I need to. For the likes of us filming, I've got two phones, Laura's phone, earpods. Um, the gimbal, drones, etc. Plugging all that in, all six devices at once is amazing. So uh, do check them out and uh, the link will be in the description. So a big thanks to Zenja there for having us all charged up for the day. A big shout out to them and uh, thank you very much for sponsoring the video. But it's uh, time to crack on, Laura. It's uh, time to go, I think. Excited? Let's uh, go meet Despicable 3. Well, the weather did it quickly uh, change. The sun is coming out. It has gone extremely foggy. We are sort of quite high up. Yeah. But uh, I feel like I'm in, in Florida when you first get up and it's all steamy. Well, it's not this cold in Florida, but it is in the yeah, winter. So, it is nice so it's, there. it's currently five past six. It doesn't feel like that because it's so light for us. Um, very fresh, amazing sleep in there last night. That was that was an amazing bed. That big. That's yeah. duvet is lovely, yeah. Lovely. So we're, uh, we're going to hit the road. We've got a one hour 50 drive and I'm uh, excited. And then all day it's going to be riding and everything. It's going to be good fun. restaurants the coaster restaurants yeah it looks really good where the food comes on a little roller coaster so we'll just see the whole thing really i don't i think it's probably going to be a busy day we'll just get done what we get done yeah but no, uh, i think the smile probably everyone's gone on about the smile for ages so probably 
probably trying that one. Wicker Man as well, but people have said Wicker Man's a little bit short. Yeah. But we'll see. You see, the last time I went, the A ride was still called A. What's it called? Yeah, now? it was still called A. So I don't know what it is now. Well, it was still called A ride, and I went, and it was amazing when I went, but that was a long, long time ago. Yeah, it might be a bit more rickety now. I, I was what, in what, school what? when I went on the A ride, and the Oblivion as well, when I the Oblivion. So, yeah. yeah it's the one Nemesis is the light one. I've done Nemesis, it makes me feel a bit ill. That's a bit rickety, that oh. one. It does throw you around a little bit, that one. So, the objectives are Smiler and Wicker Man. They're the first two rides we're getting done, yeah. Okay. And then we'll just see what happens then, I think. Yeah, see what the day takes us, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think we can film on any of the rides. No. But, um, yeah, they'll bring you along, it's gonna be good fun. Okay, so we've made it. We made it in about one hour 45 or so. I mean, we didn't go mad. There was quite a lot of um, roadworks on the M6 where it's average speed down to 50, which slowed things up. But we're here nice and early. It's like half past eight. So we're here a good bit early. Just the car park is huge, but not super clear on where to park is what I'd say. So I'm amongst other cars, but I don't know whether I'm in a staff car park whether I'm parked in the right place. It's not super, super clear where the parking is. But we're here anyway. We've, uh, we've text Despicable 3. We'll let wait to find out where we need to go. There's a monorail. I haven't been for that long. I don't know whether you have to get the monorail before you get even get in the park. I haven't got a clue. Um, we bought these tickets online. So you do pick your day online that you're going to come. And the price varies by the day. We knew we were coming this Saturday, so we bought tickets a couple of weeks ago. Um, but yeah, it was dead easy online. Put it all in, paid online, emailed me the tickets. I've got them on my phone. So that was nice and easy, just direct with Alton Towers. There is some places you can get two-for-one deals and things. I couldn't find any of that. I think we've paid about £40 each for today, is... which is not that bad, is it? No, it's not. I don't no, think it's, it's horrendous right. for Saturday. And... We've picked a good Saturday because the weather is looking absolutely looking lush, it's I'd looking say. Really nice, yeah. Yeah, looking nice. So we did jump in the car and we did repark. We're now in A, like right at the front. Uh, I think the because the marshals weren't on yet when we pulled in, it's dead easy to slip past it where it's coned off. So I think we were parked in Z. <laughs> we were miles away. Miles away. So uh, there is the footpath to the park entrance just here. And uh, yeah, I'm glad we reparked because we'd have been knackered before we even started. So, take three, you can see why they have marshals on in Florida, can't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, we're going to repark again. Um, I've just sent, sent a picture of where we are to Steph and Jim, and they said to go and park over by that tree. So, <laughs> we're moving again. If they have people directing where to park, it would be a little bit easier. Okay, so we're heading in, super excited, been catching up with Steph and Jim, and I'm just going to scan my ticket and we'll be in. So we are just in the queue for Wicker Man. We're here nice and early. It's not opened yet. We're, how long, Jim? About 20 minutes or so? Should be open at 10, so... 40 minutes. 40 minutes. <laughs> You're even earlier than we are. <laughs> we did get here pretty early. But this line does go massive later on in the day, Steph and Jim have said. If you don't know Steph and Jim, this is uh, Steph and Jim and Jimmy from Despicable 3. I will leave uh, the link in the description for their channel. And your annual pass holders here. We are pass holders. Yeah. yeah. People call us that. Well, that's for the reason we brought you for the twenty percent discount. That's the only reason you're here. <laughs> <It'll be all laughs> <right>. <laughs> oh, we're moving in. It's just opened up for us. Ten o'clock. I'm excited.
So we're finally moving, it's 10 o'clock and we're uh, straight on to Wicker Man Fairs. Never done this one. This is a wooden coaster. But I love the theming with all the fire going and the steam and stuff. Really exciting, having a lovely time. Just the time flies, we're chatting away there. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this little, uh, as I always say, this will wake me up. And I'm feeling good, we had a little coaster there as well on the way in. I'm looking forward to doing some rides now. Uh, really enjoying it, especially in the British sunshine. Gorgeous day. Well, that was a cracking ride on Wicker Man, wasn't it, Laura? We got back yeah, row, yeah, row 12. Really, really good. good um, really nice theming was good. Bit of Horror Nights vibe at the end. Yeah. It was good, though. I sacrificed my hair. That's the only thing I sacrificed. <laughs> but no, it's a great ride, though, isn't it? I'm glad it you is enjoyed it. Good that. start to the day. We got right towards the back, which is what loads of people recommended for us. Perfect ride, yeah. yeah. So we're off to the Smiler now. You know the way. Yeah. The night Smiler. <laughs> <laughs> Just out in the gardens here, you got gorgeous little ducklings there. But it's absolutely stunning out here today. Absolutely stunning. A view right across all the gardens, everything nice in flower. The sun just really makes it. If you could come every time when it was this nice weather, you'd be a lot more attracted. It's uh, a lot of people piling in now. Definitely would recommend getting here early if you're gonna come. Um, Stefan Jim are annual pass holders. They know all the tricks and they, they come here. When it, the, the gates open at nine, but obviously the parks, the ride don't start till 10. And what we got here, quarter to nine, got in here nice and uh, early, and it, uh, it is, gives you a bit of a head start to the day. Just love, it's, you've got gorgeous views, you would not think it was a theme park. Hey, so we've reached the Smiler. What do you rate this one, Jim? I do like it, but yeah. getting a bit older, I find it a bit brutal. It's a bit brutal, I'm a bit, I don't think I'm gonna come off, come off it smiling by the sounds of it. But I think you'll enjoy it. I don't think you could do it multiple times in a row, it is a bit of a, it's got 14 inversions, so I'm definitely once a, once a day, once yeah. a season. Yeah, I can imagine. And it has got the vertical lift hill as well, and the theme tune that stays in your head all day. So we've just finished on the Smiler, what a ride that is. Very intense, we got front row, 14 times that goes upside down. Crazy, crazy. I'm not that fussed on the on the uh, the idea or like the, the sort of theme of it. Um, it's a bit unusual and the queue line's a bit intense. But uh, no, good ride that, good ride. Laura's just looking at the, uh, the big carp in the pond here. It is a stunning day. We've been so lucky with the weather today so we're now going to head hopefully to the coaster restaurant we might go via the little skyliner if there's not a big queue but we're going to hopefully go to the uh, coaster restaurant for a bit of lunch now absolutely loving it loving it So we're just in at the Coaster restaurant. It's nice and quiet in here for lunch. I'm loving it. Quiet, You've been quiet. before. Yeah. I, we haven't. It looks. Do you like it in here, Jimmy? Atmosphere's great. It feels like they can like leave us. So the food actually comes down on these little coasters and down to your table. So Laura's just going to order first. But when it comes, I will show you. Your drink comes on it as well, doesn't it? I think. Yeah. The drinks come down on it. Yeah. I, I, the food gets a, arrives feeling a little bit uh, mint like me after the smiler. <laughs> there you go, Laura's Coke's arrived. You have to undo its little. Uh, you have to undo the harness. <laughs> Here comes my uh, Coke Zero as well. Here it comes. Love this concept. It is really good fun. There we go. Hey, we've got a piece of food arrived, right? Is it, Laura? I think it's going to be my mac and cheese bites, is it? Oh, no, it's my burger. That was quick. That was quick. Yeah, 
Chips are lovely, aren't they, Laura? Chips are good. I've got my chicken burger there, which is lovely. And some mac and cheese bites as well. Just really good fun. Yeah, really good concept. So, just had a fantastic meal in there, I really enjoyed that, food was good, but the, the um, this whole system, they should definitely get one of them in Florida, I think. It'd go down a storm, it? I think so, and city walks or something like that, but I really enjoyed that, now we're going to jump in the queue for Galactica, which used to be air, and I have 40 haven't... minutes to let your dinner set up. Is that 40 minutes, 40 is minutes That's right. queue, yeah. 40 minutes, let the food go down. But I think the last what, time I did a, a, a lie down ride like this would have been Manta in SeaWorld years ago. Years ago, I've not done a lying flat one for a long the time. Last time I done this ride, it was called A, and it just opened. Oh, yeah. Showing your age there, Laura. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. When was that back in the eighties? <laughs> hey, now you're showing my school. age. Man. <laughs> So on this one you fully lie down so you sit in the seat and then this will come back and you're facing down a bit like Superman. I haven't been on one of these for ages so I am excited to ride this one. So it was a good ride on uh, Galactica. It's very interesting. You didn't like it Laura? Not your favourite? No, it didn't feel safe on that one. You enjoyed it didn't you? Best, most fun you can have with your uh, clothes on lying down. So it's good fun. It's, uh, yeah, you do feel like you're going to fall out a little bit, but did enjoy it. And we're going to see what the wait time's like for Nemesis now, or maybe Beta. We'll judge it as it goes, but it's, it's hot now, and that's all right. Beautiful, yeah, it's gorgeous. So, it's Nemesis next. Uh, Steph, and Jim are gonna, Steph and Jimmy are going to uh, wait off this one, so it's me, Jim and Laura. Laura's never done it. Would you say this is quite intense, Jim? It says the world's most intense on the on the on the, the sign. If the sign says it, it's gotta be right. Isn't it? <laughs> they can't lie, can they? So we are having a great time. It is difficult because we're really catching up with uh, Steph and Jim chatting away. Um, little Jimmy as well is having a great time. The restaurant was fantastic. Really enjoyed that restaurant. They should definitely bring that to uh, Florida. I think. We are trying to get all the main big rides done here. As I said, we've not been for many, many years. So I've done this before, but I don't even remember it. It's just made up that we got the weather. It's partly cloudy, but no rain. Lovely temperature. We're not having an absolute great time. Well, it is an intense ride, especially that first bit. Really does get your on road too, which was quite smooth. Yeah, what do you think, Laura, was your first time set your head? Yeah. Very loud. It is going to be retracked soon, that one, but uh, enjoyed it. How did you feel after that? You weren't too bad, were you? No, I loved it, yeah. It was nice so we were on road two, so I think that felt a little bit smoother, but it is intense. Back to punch, yeah. Yeah, that first spin does get you. So where are we going now? Or Jewel. Or something a bit. Do jewels something a little bit calm? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good plan. So up next is Jewel, which is a bit like a haunted house, and you shoot the lasers, shoot the zombies, Laura. I'm excited. A little bit of a calmer one for me. Yeah, a little bit of a calmer one after Nemesis, and then we're going to try and get on a few ones. Steph and Jim, we're just saying this is really low crowd levels for normally a lot busier than this, Steph. A lot busier than yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we've got very, very lucky. It looks interesting. I've definitely not done this one before. Definitely not. Yeah. 
Sorry, Jimmy. It's all right. So it's 13 next. This is an interesting ride. It's got like a drop in, in it. Hard to explain. It's where the track sort of drops away. Laura's never done it before. She's very excited to do it. But I'm, I'm absolutely I'm so thankful that we're managing to get so many rides done on a Saturday. It would normally be a lot busier. So it's uh, 13 next. I, I have done this before, but I barely remember it. So. I really enjoyed that one. That was one of my favourites of today, that. Really? Yeah. I thought it was really smooth and I just love that drop system. Yeah. Most good though. What do you think, Laura? Really First time on it. it. Yeah, really enjoyed that big drop at the beginning. I didn't know it was coming. Yeah, that was yeah, a quite a steep I drop. That, yeah. No, yeah, that's been say, was one of my favourites today, that. I'd say. Yeah. So we're going to try and do Rita next, which is quite a zoomy one, which I think Laura will like. Yeah. You like your zoomy ones, don't you? But no, it was good that. Did enjoy that. So we had a good ride on Rita. It was a bit of a longer wait. Uh, I'm getting a little bit tired now, are you? Yeah. We're going to try and crack a, uh, the last two to crack off for Oblivion. And Jimmy wants to do spin ball with her. Yeah. We're going to try and get them two cracked off before we finish. Jim's just been uh, eyeing up the ice cream. Gaz, if you're watching. Sold out of flights, Gaz. Sold out. You have to bring him some. <laughs> I reckon he's probably bought them, actually, to spoil that. <laughs> So we're going to try and get these two last uh, ones done. Oblivion. Yeah, Oblivion first since we've been classic. But yeah. flying, ticking them off, we're ripping through tonight. Right. We, have, we have done very, very well, got very lucky. Every wait time has either been bang on or a lot less. In recent years, it's not often you've been able to do all the big rides unless you've had like a fast, fast track. Yeah. yeah, so we've done very, very well. I mean, and the weather as well. You can come again. <laughs> Uh, well, I'll be bringing you every time for the discount anyway. Oh, that's yeah, true. <laughs> So, just done Oblivion there, it is an absolute classic. Uh, it's a shame it is just the one drop, but it is really good. That is all a big seven done without a fast pass, all by half past three on a Saturday. So we have been very lucky there. All the big seven done. We're going to try and do uh, spin ball wizard with Jimmy before we go. But yeah, absolutely awesome. Done really well with the rides today. Really well. Spin ball wizard then, Laura. Yeah. Final one of the day. Final one. Ready for this then, Jimmy? You've yeah. wanted this all day. Probably been about two years. Jim is sitting this one out. Too big of a ride for Jim. You can only fit four in a car, so I'm going to take one for team because I'm selfless like that. So I love the bags. Fair enough. <laughs> spin ball wizard. Was it spin ball wizard? I think, yeah, yeah it did go down. So, we avoid, mind, yeah. so, so now it's chocolate and waffles. What are you getting, Laura? You're going to get chocolate covered strawberries. Chocolate covered strawberries. They do look good. Are you getting milk or white chocolate? Milk. Oh, they do look good. I'm going to save myself for the pick and mix, I think. Nice, Laura. You look like you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> Does look nice. So we're just in the gift shop now, looking at a bit of the pick and mix. Got all the vegan sweets. We can have a good look through the uh, pick and mix section, of course. I might get some. And then we're going to go into the rest of the gift shop as well on our way out. I might get myself some pick and mix. I'm not sure yet. I don't know. There you go, there's our trophy for the day, Jim. That's everything we've done today, that all in one trophy. Magnificent. Oh, yeah, it should. Lord, oh, that's like the World Cup of it is. Alton Towers. The Alton Towers Cup. It's quite nice, though, isn't it? It is, to be fair. All the, uh, all the major ones are on there. 38 quid. It's pricey, though, isn't it? And then the mug set as well. The mug set's quite good. So we are all done here at Alton Towers. Absolutely amazing day. Great. All the big ones done. Amazing company. I will obviously uh, link Despicable 3's channel in the comments. They come all the time. So there's loads of vlogs and you do Florida a lot as well. But no, it's been amazing, really Great good. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thank yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really good fun. We'll catch you guys back at the lodge.
Now we're going to say goodbye. But yeah, amazing day. Really enjoyed it. And the weather was perfect, wasn't it? You lot have been invited to the lodge. We haven't had the tip, have we? <laughs> 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 Thanks for your uh, discount. Bye. <laughs> So we are now back from our Alton Towers trip, two hour drive home, and what a way to uh, relax after a day in the theme park. Uh, thoughts on Alton Towers was good. Good value for 40 quid, I thought. Really good value. We had a really good day out. Everything was nice, clean. All seven rides done. You can wander around as much as you wanted. Um, Rita was the only one I'd say was not worth the wait. It was about 40 minutes and it was not worth it for the length of the ride. Um, yeah, but everything else was really good. The theme was really nice. Um, everything ran smoothly as well. Yeah, the operations are really good. The only one thing that broke down on us was the pit spinball wizard at the end. But we don't know how long that was down for. It could no. have been down for five minutes. We just yeah, we just didn't want to wait around. But no, it was uh, really, really good. Steph and Jim, who were annual pass holders, were amazed at how much we got done amazed how quiet it was so we did get very very lucky with that uh, and as i said it's dead easy to buy the tickets online direct uh, but for now just gonna chill we've got Catherine and dean in here as well dean's on his beer hi guys and uh, oh yeah i'm just gonna that drive home's just drifting away with each yeah that was a long bubble. drive <laughs> So we are all done for today. It's actually the following day. I did forget to end the vlog last night, uh, but it was a fantastic day. Really enjoyed meeting up with Despicable Three. It was great to finally meet them. Yeah. Lovely, lovely family. Little Jimmy was great as well. Fearless. Um, and yeah, great to be back in Alton Towers after so many years. It's been like, I was 21 last time I was there. Yeah. Well, it's good to time. be back. Um, so if you did enjoy it, please do hit the thumbs up, drop your comments down below. Make sure you do go and subscribe to Despicable 3 as well. They're a lovely family. And uh, we will see you today for all us, tomorrow for you. Yeah. And uh, we'll see what we get up to. If you're not following me on Instagram, by the way, I am posting little uh, snippets on my stories feature. So do go and follow me on Instagram and Laura as well, because we are showing little bits of what we're up to. So uh, do go and follow us on there. If not, you'll have to wait for the vlog. Stride on.